Hi my loves, hope you're all good. Today I'm working on a page in my travel journal. So I sketched this in really quickly when I was there and then I forgot to take a picture. So once I got back, I used Google Street View to draw it out properly. And I just have a doodle there of a building that I did yesterday that I really liked the look of and wanted to sort of recreate that style in this piece. So I started out by just going over my pencil lines uh, with my Micron pen just so that I wouldn't lose them once I started painting since the pencil marks were so light and I was already planning on having my paint really opaque. Um, I don't know in the end if this really helped but it didn't do any harm either so finishing that off with a few details here and there. And there you can see what it looked like once it was done. And I don't know where the beginning of this clip went, but basically I started painting in the shadows. Um, I was layering the paint quite thickly, as I said, because I knew I was going for a very restricted color palette, but I still wanted it to have a bit of texture to it, which is why I added a few hints of lighter and darker color in there as well. Um, the limited color palette is something I really like in landscape paintings. I think, I like it in all paintings really, but I think it's really effective in landscape paintings. Um, I've for a long time really admired the work of an artist and I think animator called Matthew Cruikshank and I'll leave a link below to his website so you can check out his work but I love the colours he uses and just his painting style in general. But yeah, I've been trying to go for that less is more look rather than putting in every single detail which is really difficult for me because I find it so easy to just get caught up in one area of a painting. Uh, then moving on to the next colour. I chose my colours beforehand, you will have seen at the beginning I had a couple of really messy thumbnail paintings just to test a couple of combinations out. I definitely wanted a blue and a yellowy colour to match the colour of the building, which I've just realised I completely forgot to even explain. Hang on, so this gorgeous building, uh, we came across it on our last day in Pula, Croatia. We were on our way to the amphitheatre to check out the ancient ruins, you know, proper tourist stuff. And we didn't really know where we were going, we just got off the bus and started walking. And we walked by this beautiful blue building with lovely gardens out front. And we had a closer look and realised it was a second-hand clothes shop. Anyway, we had a good look inside. One of my friends bought a really nice shirt. Um, I'm working on a video of my Croatia trip, so you'll see a bit more of it in that, hopefully, because my description doesn't really do it justice. But yeah, um, back to colours. Um, I knew I wanted blue and yellow as my main colours, and I just wanted to find some shades that went nicely together. Um, Fran Menezes or Fran Nerd here on YouTube just put up a great video on colour theory and choosing colours for your work and in it she mentioned a feature on the Adobe website where you can come up with colour schemes. Um, I'll try and link that below. So I messed about with it for a while and then in the end I kind of cheated and did what I do quite often and just searched Pinterest for blue-yellow colour schemes until I found something that I liked and it worked out really well. It gave um, just the effect that I was looking for. So... Yeah, also I finally made up some prints of my Mermaid Man and Doberman pieces and they're in my shop right now. They're crazy cheap because I had them printed at a different place than usual and even though they're still really good quality, I'm actually really impressed with how the colours came out on the Mermaid Man piece. Um, but they're just not quite to the usual standards so um, <laughs> grab yourself a good deal while you can. Uh, I also got excited and made a few Doberman stickers, how cute are these? Uh, there aren't many, so I'm just going to throw in a couple with the first few orders um, until I run out. I think I have enough for about 12 orders, so act quickly if you don't want to be disappointed. But that's, um, yeah, that's it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!